Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in MD102 Microsoft 365 Endpoint Administrator series. In this video, I will cover learning path 6, which is manage endpoint security. From this learning path, I will take deploy device data protection in this video. In the next videos, I will cover the manage Microsoft Defender for endpoint manage Microsoft Defender for Windows clients and manage Microsoft Defender for cloud apps. We will be diving into the essential tools and technologies that help keeping your organization sensitive data safe, whether it is on a corporate laptop or a mobile device or a removable USB drive. We will be exploring how Windows information protection can help you separate the corporate data from the personal data and ensuring nothing leaks out unintentionally. You will also get hands-on data loss prevention DLP to prevent the accidental sharing of sensitive information and see how information rights management lets you control who can access, edit or forward your important documents. The module covered here is deploy device data protection and the module objectives are the windows information protection, plan windows information protection, implement and use windows information protection, explore encrypting file system or encryption file system EFS in windows clients and the BitLocker drive encryption. By the end of this module, you will have a comprehensive understanding of how to use these technologies to ensure your organization's data stays protected no matter where it is stored or accessed. So let's get started. Data loss prevention, also referred as DLP, works by setting up rules to identify, categorize and protect the sensitive data. We discover the data, we classify or categorize it and then we protect it. Identifying the protected data is done through the DLP rules that use the patterns. For an instance, the credit card numbers or the keywords to find the sensitive data. And that can be the uh, financial data or any sort of critical data to the organization. Then we have action rules. Once the sensitive data is identified, the DLP determines what to do, such as blocking access, alerting users, encrypting the data, or logging the activities. Workflow impact is also part of it. It is a strict DLP rule that can interrupt normal workflows, causing delays or frustration, especially if legitimate data actions are mistakenly flagged as violations or false positives. In short, DLP aims to secure the sensitive data while minimizing disruptions to daily tasks. Next is information rights management, also known as IRM. It protects the sensitive data by ensuring it stays secure even when shared or accessed outside the organization. Here is a breakdown of such key points like protection of uh, protect, protection travels with documents. IRM ensures that the document level protection remains with the data wherever it goes. Even if the document is shared or copied to different locations, its security settings like the read-only or the restricted editing are preserved. It requires compatible apps and infrastructure to work with IRM effectively you need the compatible applications like Microsoft Office applications and the rights infrastructure. The rights related infrastructure requirement is through the Azure Rights Management Service, RMS, to enforce the protection policies. Does not remove data from employees' devices. That is something we need to ensure. Unlike some other security measures, the Information rights management does not remove data from employees' devices. Instead, it applies permissions to control access and usage of this data. That is without restricting the employee's access 
to the documents on their devices. Windows Information Protection manages apps, data, and user access. WIP helps managing the uh, corporate data and it ensures that uh, this is managed how the corporate data is accessed and shared across the applications on employees devices. This is to ensure the corporate data is kept separate from the personal data and can apply restrictions based on user identity and device compliance. WIP integrates with Azure RMS also to apply the information rights management protection to the apps and the data. It helps in enhancing the data security by ensuring that corporate data is protected while being used across managed devices and the applications. In a nutshell, IRM and WIP work together to protect the data at the document level and control how it is used. That too, without removing the data from devices, while integrating this Microsoft's cloud-based infrastructure for seamless security. Next is planning Windows information protection. It provides several key benefits in case we want to use the WIP. First benefit is separate work and personal data. As mentioned earlier, the WIP ensures corporate data is kept separate from the personal data on devices that prevents unauthorized access or sharing of sensitive information. Next is protect line of business applications, LOB. So the WIP helps protecting the line of business applications. It ensures the sensitive corporate data within these applications remain secure and cannot be leaked or mishandled. Then we have selective wipe. WIP can help you in enabling a sensitive, sensitive data selective wipe from the user's devices and leaving this personal data intact. This is useful for scenarios like employees turn over or device loss. Next is auditing. WIP allows for auditing of data usage. It enables admins to track and monitor how corporate data is accessed and shared across devices and applications. We can manage with Intune solutions. WIP can be managed through the Microsoft Intune, Microsoft Configuration Manager in on-premises or other mobile device management solutions. It offers the centralized control over data protection policies across the devices. These benefits make this WIP an effective solution for securing corporate data on employees' devices while maintaining users' privacy. There are tons of scenarios for this, like data encrypted on the devices, control app access, or enlightened apps detected uh, detect the corporate versus personal data, or block personal apps and services, protect devices that are lost, stolen, or owned by the former employees. We have complete control over the data stored on the user's devices. Implement and use Windows Information Protection. The Windows Information Protection allows the administrators to define detailed policies for protecting the corporate data on Windows devices. There are few key aspects of WIP policies that we configure, like trusted apps and data manipulation. WIP policies specify which trusted apps are allowed to use and manipulate the corporate data. This ensures only approved applications can access the sensitive information, preventing unauthorized apps from interacting with this data. App protection and network access is another benefit. You can define which apps are protected. You can specify the level of protection, for an instance, read-only or restricted, and control how corporate data can be found and accessed on the organization's network. WIP protection model uh, offers the four protection modes to manage the app access. Number one is block or hide overrides. This prevents applications from overriding or accessing the protected data. Next is allow overrides. This allows users to override certain restrictions under specific conditions.
Next is silent, where WIP silently enforces policies without notifying the user. It offers the transparency. Whereas, next is off, it disables the WIP protection. App list with rule templates are also available. These rule templates are used to add the applications to the allowed applications list. It ensures that only specific applications are able to access or manipulate organization's data securely. The key aspects of WIP policy configurations are the corporate identity, which ensures only authorized users, devices, and applications with proper corporate credentials can access the organizational data. With the help of these security principles, you ensure that the data is shared with only authorized or legitimate identities. Network parameter is another um, concept or consideration. It defines which network boundaries or locations, be it corporate network, Wi-Fi or VPN networks are considered safe for accessing the protected data. DRA certificate that is data, data recovery agent certificate that is essential for managing encrypted data and especially in case of the device loss or the policy violations. In short, the WIP policies enable admins to control application access, ensures data security across devices and enforce strict rules on how corporate data is used, protected and shared. This helps organizations managing their sensitive information effectively. Explore the encryption file system in Windows clients. EFS is a very old technique that we use to share the data with others in a confidential manner. EFS is a built-in file encryption tool for Windows where we can encrypt the folders and files. It enables transparent file encryption, decryption, and encrypted file recovery as well. It allows encrypted files to be shared with other users that too confidentially. Common usage scenarios for EFS are protecting files on shared computers, protecting files from access by privileged users, or limiting file access to specific users. This requires the certificates. EFS is the type of certificate that is used. It uses a uh, public and private key combination. We, we use the, um, the public keys to um, encrypt this file or this data. And uh, because in the uh, public key encryption, there is a uh, key combination. So uh, we have a public key and a private key in the PKI. This EFS leverages both. So the files are encrypted using a file encryption key, F-E-K. The file encryption key is used to encrypt the data. It is the symmetric key, the same key that is used to encrypt and decrypt the data because it's faster. So that is why we use this symmetric key to encrypt the files. Then this key is encrypted by the public key of the person or identity with whom we want to share this file so that that target identity or security principle can use its private key to access this file confidentially. EFS can be included or EFS features in Windows 10 are group policy settings are there for EFS per user encryption for of offline files is also there and we can perform selective wipe. BitLocker drive encryption is a very old technique. This is the drive level encryption. Whereas the EFS is limited to files and folders, we want the disk level encryption then e uh, BitLocker drive encryption comes into picture. The BitLocker and EFS are both encryption technologies used to protect the data, but they operate at different levels and serve different purposes. Like I mentioned, BitLocker drive encryption or disk encryption is for the entire disk. BitLocker encrypts the entire disk volume that includes the operating system also and the volume uh, that is storing the data, the data volume. So operating system and data volume both can be encrypted using this. It uses a trusted platform module, a small chip that is there in most of the systems these days to store the encrypt, 
cryptographic keys. Checking that the boot files remain unaltered. It ensures that boot files are not uh, corrupted. Protecting against offline software based attacks like the boot kits. It can lock the system if it detects any tampering during the boot. It ensures that unauthorized changes are prevented on the system. These are many of the advantages of using BitLocker drive encryption. First time it was introduced in Windows Vista operating system. Then Windows 7 got the BitLocker drive encryption for the USB drives as well. Uh, then uh, from then onwards, we have seen the evolution of this service and is widely adopted by the enterprises to protect their systems. Well, I hope this module was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel for more videos.